Hi, I'm Goran Arista, drummer producer of the BeatBody Premium Library. In this quick video, I will show you how to add individual BeatBody songs to your pedal. But first, I want to thank you for purchasing our premium content. Your patronage is much appreciated and ensures that we can continue to bring you fresh content regularly. All right, let's get started. Log into your BeatBody Premium Library account where you will find all of your purchased products. Download them to your computer. You will discover downloaded items in your default download directory as set by your internet browser. For me, it is the desktop. Open one of the downloaded song zip archives. There you will find a SNG file, which stands for BeatBody song, along with MIDI files used to construct the song. We'll only need to import the SNG file. Extract it by dragging it to a new folder on your desktop. Repeat the process for each downloaded song zip archive. To load BeatBody songs onto your BeatBody, you will need to use BeatBody Manager, a software dedicated to this purpose. Make sure to use the latest version of it, as attempting to import new content with outdated software will throw error messages. You can download the latest version here. When you first open the BeatBody Manager, you will need to import your current default content project to which you will add your purchased content. That's the project that ships on SD card in your BeatBody and that you have been using already. Before you import the project directly from your SD card, I recommend updating it with the latest version from our website. It will ensure that you're using the newest version of the default content which may contain significant improvements over what you currently have on your SD card. Download the latest version of the BeatBody default content from the same page as the software. Unzip the downloaded default project SD card backup archive onto your desktop. Open the newly extracted project folder on your desktop and inside you will see several files and folders. Select them all and drag them onto an empty SD card. Since only a single project can be loaded onto your BeatBody, the card needs to be erased before copying a project onto it. This could either be your current BeatBody SD card or another card of at least 4 GB in size and formatted to FAT32. Otherwise, it will show as empty when loaded into the BeatBody. Do a Google search on how to format the SD card to FAT32 if you are unsure. Suppose you are picking a new SD card. In that case, I recommend a fast class 10 card, which will significantly speed up the copying of the project and loading of drum sets in your BeatBody. Inside the BeatBody Manager, before proceeding with anything else, check and copy the workspace location. Go to Tools, Set Workspace Location. Click on the location bar and copy it with Control C then click Cancel. Open the project by going to File, Open Project, then navigate to your SD card. Once the software parses the project, you will be prompted to save a backup of it to your computer, which will be utilized for editing and synchronization. Click Yes. Save it within the BB Workspace location we previously copied by clicking on the location bar on top and pasting with Ctrl V. Navigate to Projects folder within User Directory, give your project a name, and click Save. It will take a few moments for the project to be copied over, and this new copy parsed again. You will be working on this local copy on your computer. You will be prompted to link the project to the SD card for future synchronization. Click Yes. You may now delete both the zip archive and the default project from your desktop as they will no longer be needed. We will need to be importing individual songs into one of the existing folders or create a new one by going to Songs, New Folder. You can rename the folder to something of your choice and move it up or down the list by dragging it. We are now ready to add your premium BeatBody songs. Go to File, Import, Song. Then navigate to the Songs folder on your desktop where you previously extracted BeatBody songs. Select all SNG files and click Open. Once the songs are imported, you can rearrange them by dragging them up or down. 
Save your project by pressing Ctrl S on PC or Command S on Mac. If you would like to edit any content, you may do so at this time. Just remember to save the project after any change. When you are done editing, synchronize the project with your SD card. Do that by going to File, Synchronize Project. After a few moments, your SD card will be updated with the latest changes. Take the SD card, insert it into your beat body and have fun with your new beats. Suppose your project was not previously linked to your card for synchronization. In that case, the synchronization option will not be available. Instead, you will need to export your project to the SD card. Go to File, Export, Project to SD card. If your card is not blank, the software will ask you to erase everything on your behalf before continuing. Click Yes. Once the copying is completed, you will be prompted to link the project for future synchronization. Click Yes. The next time you need to add additional content to your beat body, you won't need to import the project all over again from your pedal. You will simply open the existing project in the beat body manager, then add your new content. After saving the project, you can just use the synchronize project function from the file menu. They will quickly update your SD card project with only the latest edition without having to transfer everything over again. That's it. If you run into any issues or get stuck along the way, please send us an email at support at singularsound.com and Jay will be delighted to help you. Please keep an eye on emails from us as we'll let you know once we produce something new. We create content based on the popularity of requests by users like yourself, so if you haven't yet found all that you were looking for, you may see it in one of our future releases. And to better ensure that you don't miss an update, I highly recommend that you also sign up for our push notifications if you haven't already done so. Thank you for being a BeatBody user and for purchasing our premium content. I'm Goran Rista, and you hear from me again soon. Until then, keep grooving.